And so I'm shipping this bad boy out tomorrow. And this is a bad boy. That is just, that is a mean FSC right there. So uh, if you haven't uh, seen, there, there, I've got a video. I was, uh, it's it's quite stout. Actually, I mean, it's in a couple of videos, but there's one just a bit. But um, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to, I wanted homie to see uh, maybe some options here in case he wants to put something on it. There is a Balder Pro. O light. <laughs> a bully dot laser. Fast fast acquisition targeting laser. That actually is pretty sick on there, really. I don't have a screw in it or anything, but let's not forget. Yeah, vertical. Lots of stability. This is the long Grimberg barrel, so this is a hoss of a gun anyway. So launcher marker personal defense piece <laughs> but uh yeah i actually that right there would be a heck of a good way to run it honestly i would probably yeah that's probably what i do because i would get more benefit out of that than i would a laser for sure for sure a light no but still that's really cool <laughs> but who says it's got to be either or and then if you want to go for something with a little more wom bom bom I mean that ain't right but it ain't wrong I'm really being lazy but the crimson trace actually would work really well but I would have to change the thing so it fits the you know the shorter one that goes in there but you know there you go that's actually pretty cool sort of kind of small on myself Ah, good old school Valkyrie. One of my personal all time favorites on just about anything. And then we got the good old TLR1 HL. <clears throat> As you can see, I didn't really fit all the way back. Um, I could uh, probably get it to fit a little better, changing out the uh, little insert. But uh, you know, I just got off of a really long day and a long trip back and and all that and 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 i'm going to bed <laughs> says the guy who's turbo changing accessories on a marker that like literally nobody has and is not wondering what anything looks like on except for just the guy that bought it because there's not another one like it <laughs> there's a wilson combat grip who wah uh function yes a uh, form heck no all right guys like subscribe uh check out my website dk spencer custom kinetics.com yep everything's kind of out of stock so but if you see something you like email me and uh i'll work it out for you <laughs> i'm trying to get some stuff posted this weekend though all right you guys and hey there will be more videos of the the ballistic head testing videos we got uh, quite a bit more to edit and uh, i'll be getting uh, getting some of that up this weekend too so all right bye so there's a couple that i uh didn't say what they were one would be this which this is a balder pro this one uses batteries <laughs> I like the rechargeable version of this better, but I like the old school version of the PL2 Valkyrie. That's like it's one of my favorite lights ever. And then this right here, I'm shipping that out tomorrow too. Not really sure why I hadn't yet, other than I just kind of like it. Um, <laughs> so this is a G series. Um, this is a surefire uh i use these like a lot like any okay so anybody uh well you can just about put that on any build not necessarily with this mount well really not with this mount uh, that mount is actually for something very specific um for me but it just did it to be funny um but uh yeah those lights are really awesome they're just they're just simple simple you know and they work and they're tough tough as nails um but yeah if it's somebody that doesn't want a laser and doesn't want a rechargeable light or something i would suggest that they're about 79 bucks or so 
in like a black hawk. Um, well, I mean, you know, I got it. I got a you know pimp Daniel Defense, but, but if you don't want to spend that much, you can get black hawk ones. It's easier on Amazon. But, uh, yeah, that would stick out the side and look stupid on there. So, there you go. All right. Toodles. <laughs>